Placards with inscriptions such as stop milking teachers, teachers deserve better, Pentium 1 laptops are not fit for purpose, Fix GES among others were the messages members of the All Teachers Alliance Ghana were sending to government to halt the distribution of what they allege to be substandard laptops as part of the One Teacher One Laptop initiative. On September 2020, government launched the One Teacher One Laptop initiative aimed at bridging the ICT gap between teachers in urban areas and their colleagues in rural areas. But this initiative has received backlashes with teachers demanding a refund of the monies deducted to the payment for these laptops. Protesters who shared their concerns with City News say the deduction is being done without their consent and that the laptops are inferior. We, the teachers, we are saying that the teaching tools that we are using in our fraternity is supposed to be provided by the government. And for that matter, the 509 that has been deducted is supposed to be refunded by GES because it was GES that uh, 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 gave the command to cut to deduct our money. So it is GES that we are expecting them to refund our money for us. We have laptops. I have a better laptop. I bought it 4200 So why do you think I need a, a, an inferior laptop? And you say it's 509 I could have used 509 for other things. You understand? So we are saying that one, we don't need a laptop. They should be selective and give it to those who need it. Of course, there are some people who don't have laptop who needs it. Let them choose what they want. Okay? You are having a computer, a laptop, uh, with a processor speed of 1.1, 1 .1, of 1, 1 gig. And do you think it's the best? Are we thinking, what are we talking about? Uh, and they always defend their sense that it contains the new syllabus and other things. If you open the TM1 laptop, you realize that the syllabus on it is from stage 1 to stage 6. Me, I teach at the SHS. If you give me such a laptop, what am I going to use it for? The president of the All Teachers Alliance, Ghana, Isaac Ofori, says government should record the laptops in exchange for quality ones. We want GES to record the laptop. Record the laptop. After recording the laptop, they should have upgrade it. Then, instead of deducting our money, before giving, giving us the laptop, they should refund our money to us. When they start distributing the laptops, they cannot deduct us. And when they start distributing quality laptops, I'm not saying the, the, the state of the machine now. When they start distributing to us quality laptops, we'll be able to pay the money whilst we receive the laptops. That's all. The protest, which began from the Independence Square in Accra all the way to the Ghana Education Service, saw the union submit a petition to the Ghana Education Service. Frank Dumfo is the Ashanti Regional Chairman of the All Teachers Alliance Ghana and he submitted a petition on behalf of the union. We want to state categorically that the three unions had acted in a bad faith in terms of the negotiations they enter into, the, uh, into with CAT, that is KA Technology and Ministry of Education. We urge the GES as a matter of agency, refund, uh, let me say it again, refund their monies to them. Again, our professional allowance of 509.55 that has been deducted without receiving the laptop. I am an example. I've not received my laptop. It's against our labor rights. And we demanded this must be refunded. Deputy Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Dr. Kwabena Benpatando, received the petition and indicated that teachers' concern will be addressed and that the service will be guided since the matter is already in court. We have, we have received the petition in good faith. We will work on their petition. But we also want our colleague teachers to know that they have also chosen the legal avenue to ensure that their grievances will be addressed within the confines of the laws of the Republic of Ghana. Those issues are still being addressed within the confines of the laws of the Republic of Ghana. But if we administratively, Ghana Education Service, having received this petition, will look at it and consider it. But we will be guided within the issues that our dear teachers have also taken to court, so that whatever the law courts direct, of course, as law-abiding agency, we will stick to the directives of the law courts. But within the confines of the law, we'll do it. We respect the work that they do. We hope that as teachers, as they came here, if their schools are still in session, that they made the right arrangements to ensure that learning will continue for their students.
but the union was not satisfied with the response from Mr. Boatin. We submitted our petition to you. The issues in there need, you can't just stand here and tell us the issues that are involved. We need a better and better particulars of the things that we have told you. So he gave us a better response so that we can, based on those responses, and tell teachers that when we came for demonstration, this is what we heard, this is what they told us, and this is what we should expect. But not the manner he wants to do it. It's in a haste. And it's Russian. And it should do the diplomatic thing. The All Teachers Alliance Ghana, they have successfully submitted a petition to the Ghana Education Service to express their displeasure over the distribution of laptops for teachers. Now, according to them, the laptops being distributed by the Ghana Education Service are substandard. They are inequality. Hence, government should halt the distribution of those laptops. They indicated that the deduction of 509 Ghana cities from their professional development allowance as part of payment of the laptops um, should be halted as a matter of urgency. For City News, my name is Kennedy Chumisi. <laughs>